Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Leo. And look at that, the justice here. Queen of Cups, the Three of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, and the Death. Wow. And the world here. I don't know if this is a past energy or current energy. For some of you, there is a strong masculine presence here that is working very, very hard at this time. Someone could be interested in making an investment in you or someone invested in doing something um, to you that was not fair. But you have the emperor here and the justice with the queen of cups, the three of swords, eight of pentacles, and the death card. Here's the world. You're about to receive very exciting news that you're free from something. I've received a few messages today and I don't know what's going on with my channeling, but I'm, I'm connecting with people <laughs> I just want the collective to know you're about to receive confirmations that you're moving on to a place of peace and calm. Look, here's the, you can see the magician card and the empress here sort of hiding. But even here you have the world, the page of wands. This could be communication if you're online, even six of swords, six of wands, ten of cups. Nine of Cups, wow. Four of Swords, Five of Wands, the Star, Four of Wands, Ace of Wands, the Wheel. Something here is so amazing. I don't know who this Emperor is. I feel like there's a person out here with some type of power, control, authority. It's a very strong masculine energy here. that is bringing justice to a feminine queen of cups who has been heartbroken because someone here has worked very hard to bring about an ending. I had a very specific message yesterday and today I did a reading. Message came. The camera shut off. Another message came. You know, it's Mercury retrograde, but these messages are so clear. They're, they're very telling. They're very specific. And a lot of people don't want me to say certain things. But there's a, a person out here who someone has worked hard to create an ending for a person who could possibly be online, the world card. To me, I was in a world wide web. Someone could have success online and that is being shown or someone does not want you to be seen online. And I really don't want to get into that too much because something here is that is that's something that's a, coming to an ending, like an end for you. OK, the exciting news that you're about to receive, though, is the six of swords and the six of wands there. This emperor here. Is someone who is taking someone on to peaceful, calm waters. There is help here for you. And you're going to, to Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups here. Like the ultimate wish fulfillment. This is um, an overflow of emotional contentment. And there's a strong presence of a masculine here. It's like somebody is coming in to save the day. Five of Wands here. There's a, someone here who knows that you've been going through a lot. And then it's the star of the four of ones, ace of ones, the will of fortune. Somebody knows that it's your destiny to have the four of ones to create something new and to go towards your passions, to grow, to achieve a lot, to be successful. It's your destiny. I don't know who this emperor is, but they called 
judgment in the situation. Like they're bringing you justice. Now this could be something spiritual. Six of Cups and the High Priestess. For some of you, this is like a past life lover, a soulmate. For some, a twin flame, divine, whatever title you may want. Yeah, look at that. I just cut the deck. The lovers here and the Four of Cups. And you could have someone else who has been in your energy. And the reason why the person who has been in your energy Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, who has been working so hard to sabotage your life. The reason why they're not really coming out is because they are being hidden. They are being eclipsed out. The energy of this person has been eclipsed out. You probably can still sense it there, but whatever they, whatever plots or plans have been dismantled, but this energy eventually is going to be removed entirely. The lovers here, you have a choice. So for some of you, you are moving into like a new connection here. All right. The Six of Cups and the High Priestess, I don't know if there are secrets about something or someone from your past. Or like I said, you have something developing. So here's the King of Pentacles. Here's the Devil. And I can see the Ten of Swords here. Oh, Five of Cups. So for some of you, you know something about a person from your past. They could absolutely be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, heavy um, Capricorn energy with the King of Pentacles and the Devil being here and the Ten of Swords. Someone could be disappointed. They may feel like you know the truth about a situation from the past, okay? I don't know if there's been, um, if something happened to this King of Pentacles and someone feels like you know about it or if this King of Pentacles did something to you to betray you. The Fool card, though, um... I feel like somebody could have taken a risk as well to try and block you. But just as somebody keeps taking a risk to try and block you, somebody else is taking a risk to bet it all in protecting you. Eight of Wands, yeah. Queen of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles. And here's the Ace of Pentacles. So, this King of Pentacles and the Devil, these are your two lovers, okay? The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles are out here. They're supposed to be having equal give and take with something here that is coming from the divine, okay? Where you're supposed to be celebrating here. This is the judgment, the calling on your life. This is this Four of Wands energy, all right? But you have here a, a karmic connection, an entity, a spiritual spouse, something very low vibrational here. There is somebody who feels devastated, deceived, and betrayed by you going into a new connection. And you may have blocked this person because intuitively you knew that someone from your past was coming towards you with some type of offer or they've done this several times. The fact that somebody is coming towards you and maybe you're in like a new connection or you just don't want anything to do with this person. This person here, they are very upset about the fact that you're moving into this partnership. So this person has invested a lot and bringing you this chaos, conflict, three of swords, this interference here in hopes that you would end something. I don't know if this person was hoping that you would end like a new connection or a new partnership. It may not even be like a romantic partnership. For some of you, it could be someone wants you to walk away from a job. Somebody wants you to walk away from something that is allowing you to have this awakening and this truth and clarity about yourself, about your future, about your life. Yeah, this nine of wands, this person, they can't seem to let go. And you have, I feel like for some of you, there is another person here. The temperance here, the fool card and the seven of wands. Somebody here is willing to bet it all, like I said, on protecting you while someone else is doing everything to block you. And there has been some type of magic or manipulation here. 
If you notice you have the temperance, someone here is trying to temper something. They're utilizing self-control, moderation, alchemy. Okay, but you have someone over here, another person, karmic, counterfeit, or whatever. They are trying to create instability with the use of magic or manipulation here. And it's all because the, the Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles here. This is you, this King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, going into a partnership that leads to the Ten of Pentacles. But you have a person out here that is refusing to release you. And I don't know what the Queen of Swords here, if you said something, maybe at some point you told a person that you are in a new connection and they decided at that point that they were going to hold on to you and not release you. But this feels like it became more extreme. This person did something, like took very extreme measures to try and block you. The Ten of Wands is here. Look, the King of Wands and the King of Swords with the Hangman and the Ace of Cups. See, the Ten of Wands, somebody here has been trying to create a bird. They could even be praying on the downfall of your new love interest. If that's what this is, it's two masculines here and a hangman. Somebody wants, these two people, <laughs> King of Wands is carrying a burden and then the King of Swords is trying to make a sacrifice. So this is definitely somebody here who is praying on the downfall of your new connections possibly, or this happened in the past. And someone is upset that you know, but this is all about Ace of Cups. You having new love or you having multiple options. Ace of Cups also could be a lot of self-love. You having multiple options because you love yourself, because of your, you know. Yeah, it's like a new offer here. This also could be just your connection with, with the divine, like your ability some of you maybe in the past you dealt with someone and they were very spiritual. I'm definitely picking that up here, but they abused their spiritual powers or abilities in some type of way. Now that you're becoming stronger, emotionally more intelligent, more emotionally intelligent, emotionally aware, you're developing more gifts. All these se these seven of cups here. You like I said in the beginning, you may be developing more gifts. Uh, and a specific gift of yours is becoming stronger and allowing you to see the importance of you walking away from this shady person. There's a possibly a Taurus or Capricorn out here heavy. Or you're able to walk away from someone who has like some type of um, their belief systems in your, in, in yours just don't align. And you now see the truth. And this person, they are coming into the, the awareness that you see the truth about them and it has them stressed out in fear and, and angry. This person is running from... This person is afraid of, of, of exposure. And with this high priestess being out here, I feel that many of you, you're dealing with, they are afraid that you know something that could expose them. Whoever this person is, they feel like you know something that could expose them. So you can have a person who knows you have some type of gifts. Remember I said World Wide Web, you could be online. Somebody knows that you have some type of gifts. They know that... Um, you said something to them or about them because of what you're saying, they fear that you may eventually, ex somebody does not want you to expose them. I don't know if a person is afraid that you may eventually get upset and, and, and expose them out of some type of retaliation, but it's like they have their fear, but they won't stop like harassing you eight of swords here and this is all about again like some type of 
new divine contract or partnership or relationship. Somebody here does not want you to see something or be able to take action to go towards a connection here. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody also wants you to be in the end. They want you to be single. Somebody wants you to choose being single. To be left out in the cold. Like somebody wants you to abort your own mission or your purpose. Because if they could get you to do that, you won't go towards this person. This King of Cups, the Sun, Two of Wands, this person is coming towards you. Somebody here is coming towards you. They see you as the Empress. They want to collaborate with you and expand. The Three of Wands is, is expansion. The Three of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Somebody wants to collaborate with you. And the King of Cups is a father figure, the Sun and the Empress. Somebody wants to team up, collaborate with you, have joy, happiness, possibly a family, children. And somebody here keeps rushing in trying to block this or sabotage it. Some of you are definitely dealing with a very spiritual person that is, is, look at this, at the bottom of this deck is the lovers. So this is like your counterfeit karmic person because in this particular deck, the lovers, obviously one is, is white, one is black, but it's like one of you is light, one of you is dark. You have someone out here who is using their spiritual gifts or powers or abilities for something dark. This person is do doing something to try to abuse their, their power spiritually. This person, they have a way of finding out about your connections. This, this person or this entity, whatever, it feels like it owns you. It feels like this, this same storyline comes out every day. Eight of Wands here. Downloads, travel, communication, something happening very fast. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you're turning your back on something going towards the Ten of Cups. Seven of Cups here, the Star, the Devil, Queen of Swords. You're putting your boundary up to whoever this very toxic person or entity or energy is. And they're very upset about it. And it's something too about your communication. The fact that you're standing up for yourself and you're fighting for your future, for your, your destiny. This person is like, what do you mean? Because see, you're, you're drawing your sword to break the contract that you have with this person. It's something very specific that has happened though, and it has to do with communication. I don't know if some of you recently you said something like out of your own mouth. If you had interaction with this person, you spoke to them, you told them you're not interested. I don't if you blocked communication, you could have done all those things. You may have ex expressed to this person when I see this card, this is a young lady here, but in this boat. That obviously she's rowing. There is this elderly woman. You may have told this person, you know, that. You're focused right now on, on healing things and breaking generational curses. You're moving forward with your life. You're coming out of this stagnant energy or feeling defeated in this situation. And somebody is like, what do you mean? No, you're not. The moon. Yeah. Somebody here, you're doing a lot of healing and shadow work. Ten of Swords and the Magician. Despite all of this betrayal and the deceptive energy you're manifesting a passionate new beginning here and there's an offer that's coming towards you that's going to put you in the nine of pentacles you have things that's going to bring you look success ace of cups and the strength card and this ace of cups for some of you it has something to do again with like your spiritual gifts or abilities you may be struggling right now to sleep Somebody is going through a serious like ascension. Three of Pentacles and the Emperor. You're being you're ascending like this though. You may definitely need a lot of rest at this time.
you've manifested your counterpart and you're freeing yourself. I just heard, um, what's that called? Look, I can't make it. The lovers. Sound therapy. I just noticed because on this car, this girl, she has, you know, she's listening to something. She has like earbuds. So I don't know if you're doing like some kind of sound therapy. You're not stuck in any type of illusion and all about a connection here. You're, you've made a choice to sacrifice someone to celebrate yourself or or with a new person or whatever, high priestess. And somebody is, just, somebody is just very upset that you're able to see beyond an illusion. There's a lot of burdens that have been created for you and yet you still, look, Ace of, Ace of Swords, you saw the truth and you're moving forward. This also, too, is some type of divine truth, clarity, a download that you received here that helps you to protect yourself. Yeah, because you're calling judgment. King of Pentacles and a Page of Cups. Three of Wands, Four of Cups, and here's this King of Wands. Yeah, this King of Wands looks angry. Because you're calling judgment on the situation because like before, the king and queen of pentacles, there's a solid offer. You're letting go of some type of spiritual contract or attachment that you had and you're manifesting something that you're going to ex explore and enjoy here in the physical. This person who has, you know, constantly been coming towards you. This person, they're mad because look, look at the car. You're over the situation. You no longer want this passionate connection with this person. You have this spiritual attachment to that is not enduring. You want to actually manifest joy as the Empress. And that is with this King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles does not have to be an Earth sign, a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, but this is someone who's bringing you an, a physical offer. It's not rooted or based on lust or passion or any of that. It's a physical offer. It's something that you get to hold on to and, and build. It's to have and to hold. Somebody here has been, you know, somebody is longing for you possibly out of lust. And the fact that you're no longer available, it has this person very upset like this person they present themselves like they want to come in and redeem themselves and reconcile with you but it's like this is a game for somebody this is like power struggles clarity yeah you see things cl clearly here wrong timing is out here this also says get on the same page Meditation, intuition, uh, within a few months. New love, yeah. You have somebody that's coming into your life. Confusion, soul contract, Mercury retrograde from a third with third party making plans. There's a, a um a very toxic, manipulative person here that you are putting up your boundaries with and focusing on self love. What is going to happen is within a few months, as you get more clarity about this situation and the smoke sort of clears, you and someone that's a they could be in your in your life now, but there's a new divine connection coming in. You could have already met this person, but it was the wrong timing when you first met them. And the reason why the timing was wrong is because you were still dealing with this karmic situation with this past person they're going to be removed completely out of your energy yeah see self-love you've had more than one option in love but you are being advised that you need to choose the person that's aligned with your soul purpose not this person that keeps running away from making the effort becoming a provider having a family with you someone that there's always conflict with like no and this person, they're in deep regret because they failed to, to develop and to grow. And now you have a new beginning. So this person wants to start over with you, but you're starting over with someone else who's aligned with you. 
because it's new. They love you. Or this past person loves you and you have someone in your energy now that you need to let go of. However, there's somebody in your energy that needs to go. Somebody has to get out of your energy. Because they, they don't want what you want. And they're blocking something that's actually destined for you. And you could finally now be really standing up for yourself, trying to get a person out of your energy, and they are upset about it because they're losing control. Look, it says incompatibilities and running and chasing. If you're looking for a long-term relationship, finding someone you're compatible with is the key to avoid a very challenging connection. But this need, this person needs to be compatible with your life purpose. Not just physically compatible or whatever. Like they need to be compatible with your life purpose. Your soul's purpose. And your soul's purpose is to evolve and grow. There's somebody out here, you, the connection, it never evolves. It's not growing. It's the same thing over and over. And the reason why this is very confusing, especially if you have someone new in your life, you and the person that's currently in your life, that situation is stalled. It's being stalled. It's stagnant. It's not growing because this energy of this other person that's always working on bringing you an ending, they're still in your, they're causing the energy between your new, you and your new connection to be stalled. Because this person is preying on the downfall of your new love interest. It says, don't lock into tunnel vision on romantic love as the only possibility for the situation. Some twin flames are better off as friends. Karmic, even though this is a karmic connection, it is meant to help you grow and heal so that you may find your true soulmate or twin flame. Cycles and surrendering. Both of you are starting to give up on the need to control. It's not about giving up on the connection, but accepting you can't run from destiny. And your situation is gaining momentum. Get ready for a big change. Be sure to stay grounded as this change can throw you off your center. So you have a karmic person out here that you are eventually, you're just going to have to accept that you and this person, you're not meant to be. This this karmic energy here, this is someone that's in a loveless connection elsewhere. That there, There's no, um, or this is you and this person. You could have children. Um, you could have shared assets or finances, but you need to come to terms with the fact that you and this person, you are just better off as friends or there should be no contact. And once you decide to let go of this situation, your true soulmate or twin flame can come in. For some of you, though, this is a person, they are in another connection and they keep coming in with these highs and lows. It's hot and cold constantly. And then they ghost you. And this is a, it's more of a fifth dimensional like connection. You have like a 5D connection with more than one person. One person is always in your energy because they enjoy being in your energy because they're uncomfortable or unhappy in something that's in their actual 3D reality. But you have another person that's connecting with you on a soul level in the 5D who wants to surrender to this connection because it's destined. But it's, it's very difficult for this person that is your true divine masculine energy to, to be fully connected to you because your energy is still being shared with this karmic person. Some of you, this is just a, um, some advice, and I see this right here. I was about to say hesitation. You are stalling your new connections by being hesitant to let go fully, completely of this past person. The fact that you're still and you're in two minds about the situation, 
it's really delaying your new connection. The fact that you give any energy to that old situation at all is really delaying. So, especially for people like if you have children with this past person or whatever, the fact that you still allow them to get under your skin is actually causing chaos, friction, tension, and maybe even separations in your new connection because that person, they're always hoping that you experience a loss in your connections anyway. The moment that you feed into their energy, it, it, it ruins something. I don't, I don't know how this is, but um, I also feel too, the presence of this karmic energy is causing your twin flame who is going through an awakening. You don't want them to be hesitant about connecting with you because they can still feel this other energy. Your divine masculine is not going to share um, space with you while you're still connecting with someone else. So for some of you, you, you have a friendship with a person. It says this romantic union will be grounded in friendship, a very playful connection meant to teach you how to have a more carefree attitude. Some of you, you're looking at a friend thinking that they're your forever person and, and they're not. You're, you're going to have to accept that they, they truly are just meant to be your friend. Some of you, your, your friend, they could be a soulmate or a twin flame. And it's not meant to be romantic. Okay. Some of you have a person that's in your life now that's showing up as a friend. Okay. And you're going with the flow. You're, they're your masculine. But... They're hesitant to connect with you fully, perhaps in a romantic way, or to take the relationship to the next level because you still have this cord of attachment to a karmic. It's just somebody, your energy is not completely available for your divine partnership. You're making progress, but... Hidden blessings here. There's a detour. You're being asked to go in a new direction. The secret dete detective card is here. So some of you, you're starting to feel like either you don't trust someone, you're looking for inf you're looking for things. Make sure that th you're not looking for something to feed into self-sabotage. But for some of you, you need to be honest. You don't trust the person. Yeah. It's a lot going on here. Because for some of you, you and your person, your true person, you're very different. And this other person in your energy who you're incompatible with because their morals and values are different from yours, it feels like that energy, if you're not careful, it's going to bleed over into a new connection and cause you to self-sabotage. See, you you have it's two cards, the last two cards, you have incompatibilities here and differences. And I'll be honest with you, because Secret Detective is out here, you have a person in your energy that is trying to study you and whoever else is in your energy that's divine, and they're doing things to try and trick you. But something here is meant to last. But you need to get out of this repetitive cycle with another person. And, and, and whoever this other person is, they're not physically around you. It's where you are allowing your thoughts and your emotions to go when it comes to this person. They're not physically around you, but they're controlling everything in your physical reality and environment because of the space that they hold in your mind. And again, this person, for some of you, they're very spirit. This person, I have, they could be like a warlock. They're tied to a situation because of family, children, and finances. And you're not compatible with this person because what you want, they can't offer it to you. 
This person has ghosted you a lot. It's very hot and cold. It's fiery. It's passionate. But this person is feeding an unhealed wound of yours or you're feeding an unhealed wound of theirs. And for a long time, you may have really been set on the idea that this person was your end all be all, that they were your soulmate or your twin flame. But truth is, this person, they're better off as your friends or just not being in your life because there's nothing else you can learn from this person. This person does nothing but disappoint you. But because of the trigger and the traumas from this situation, now that you go into a situation with someone and it's like a friendship and it, it, it's full of all these hidden blessings, I feel like you're beginning now to... Self-sabotage. Like you're you're looking for something wrong with this new person because you still are not allowing yourself to fully process the fact that whoever this person you were really set on being with, they're really they're not your person. Somebody is really struggling. I don't know if it's because you had a lot of cycles, a lot of history with this person, but you're still like, you know, maybe it's a chance. No, you've manifested a new connection with somebody. But your new connection, the person they're hesitant. To fully make you an offer, they're going through an awakening, but if they, this person, they're not going to feel safe. They're tied to you energetically in the 5D. That means that if you have any type of um, reservations about being with them, they're, they're going to be restricted. They're going to be hesitant because you're oh my god you're triggering their fear of rejection so your part your actual divine masculine who's going through an awakening they could have a fear of rejection they're connecting with you on a soul level they're trying to surrender to the connection but until you energetically make them feel safe there's gonna be like stagnant energy here and this person could also be trying to figure out can they really trust you you and this person both are kind of snooping or spying on each other energetically because you're trying to figure out if it's safe to love them i feel like i'm talking to a divine feminine and you're like i think that this may be my person but you're still stuck maybe on like a not really stuck on a past person but your energy hasn't let go of a past person like entirely or they haven't let go of you so at times there's confusion and then you have this new person here and they're like i think divine feminine is my person but maybe because of what they've been through or whatever they don't want to make an offer to you and you reject them and because the two of you now are surrendering to the connection and tap in with one another they can feel that there's still something in your energy and you can feel that they are still afraid y'all are really really connecting with people because everybody is going through this major shift so all of your connections are becoming more pronounced more potent the the good ones and the bad ones and then this past energy too i mean like we have the eclipse here is aries season okay a lot of things are being revealed to you, Aries, Divine Master, but we also in Mercury Retrograde. So you have this past energy coming in to make sure that you're ready to break out of the cycle. And then you have this new Divine Master that has manifested in your energy or in your life. And they cannot fully surrender to this connection until your energy is fully purified and cleansed and able to receive them. That's, that's who you are as a feminine. You have to be able to fully receive this person. If you cannot fully receive them, then on the opposite end of, you know, offering something is rejection. If you can't fully give yourself to this person, it seems that it's rejection. This person can feel you. They can tell you're you're still on shaky ground. 
because this karmic person is in your energy. This connection, though, is going to be very mature. Like, it can survive these changes, but you yourself, you're going to have to look at your attachments and break some type of repetitive cycle. Look, mirroring. Your twin flame is reflecting back the truth. This can cause a feeling of vulnerability, which can trigger one or both twins to run from the relationship. If you are, some of you are, wow, this is very spiritual. You are unconsciously blocking your twin. You're dealing with your twin. <laughs> Whatever you fear is going to be reflected. Whatever you're dealing with internally, you're going to see it happen with them. They're your mirror. Whatever you, it's like what you think about, they will say out loud. What you fear the most is what you'll see them running from. You don't have to say it. If you fear this connection with this person, they're going to be hesitant to make a an offer. If you fear that they are lying to you because of what you went through in the past, they're going to appear to you as if like they're sneaky. So you have to be very mindful of your thoughts. You're going to have to get to the, the, the root of all of your issues. And that's what a twin flame connection is going to do. This is nothing surface level. You cannot hide from this person. It's it's destined here. It's you have to fully surrender. You have to fully release this past hurt, pain, and this person. Especially the divine feminine, or you cannot receive your divine masculine. They can be in your life. Somebody I know for I'm talking to you have somebody that's possibly in your life. It's not moving forward. It's not. That they don't want to be with you or you don't, you still are not fully able to receive them. Energetically, they can feel that there's a blockage. This person on a spiritual, energetic, they are wanting a piece of you that you still have not been able to give them. And it's because of your fear of them hurting you like this past person. It's a fear. It, it's a fear of rejection. So the fear of rejection is how you ended up with this karmic and why you stayed in a repetitive cycle with them. And now your actual twin flame is coming in to heal you from this rejection. And you're going to know that you are healed from the rejection because you'll be able to receive them. Your fear of rejection is why... You can't fully embrace them. And they also, if you have a fear of rejection, they too, they do too. They're your twin. They don't want to be rejected by you, <laughs> but you're rejecting them. You, you guys are going to have to pray against the spirit of rejection. Vulnerability. See, you can be completely vulnerable with this person. This is like some of you, this is your real twin. But look, you see how all the cards here? There's a card in here that's flipped over. Interference. The interference is the spirit of fear and rejection. And you have a person in your life from your past, most likely, who has caused you to develop this, this spiritual attachment because of how they rejected you. And behind that is, look, twin flame. Release, radical acceptance, and surrender can help you to let go and accept everything happens for a reason. You have a situation here that's, um, you can trust it when you start to trust yourself. You just, you're going to have to face your fears. 100%. Look, this relationship can stand the test of time. Unhealed wounds, look, unhealed wounds 
are blocking forward movement. Did something just slip out of frame? You learn this spiritual lesson and your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Spiritual lesson. This person in your is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. There was something that flipped over. I knew it. Leap of faith. <laughs> it is safe for you to make the move that you're considering. But go slow and have patience. You want to give somebody a chance. And they're in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. But see, you have someone that was in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. And it's time that you accept that they weren't meant to stay. And you have someone else in your life that's meant to teach you a spiritual lesson that's going to open the two of you up to your destined partnership together. So it is safe for you to take a leap of faith with your soulmate. They, they genuinely love you. But they are going to be the person that's going to help you master your lesson. See, some of you, you're trying to push someone away. They're the key to you, your happiness, not to idolize them. But they are the ones that's going to teach you how to finally give love another shot. This situation is moving slowly because you still don't, you still don't really trust. But when you decide to say, okay, I'm just going to I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm going to trust it. You're going to see a major shift or change happen here. It's actually it's like a major breakthrough for somebody. Look, soulmates. <laughs> Community. You and this person, you, you're a part of like this. You're connected and this is something yang oh my gosh oh i love that when that happens this this is your masculine mending they will help you to mend from this never-ending story that you've been a part of in this repetitive cycle with someone because they have a loyal heart and they were sent to you to help you come out of the darkness and into the light. Wow. Imagine a change in the wind going towards milk and honey and you're getting a leg up. Regeneration, the fates, new life. It's fated for you to have a new life. And you're receiving a you're receiving a helpmate. You're receiving somebody that <laughs> it's so beautiful because y'all have the same wound and y'all are going to heal from rejection together by accepting each other. This person, they're scared to make you an offer because they don't want to be rejected. You're you're already afraid. <laughs> To even be open to the idea of them fully making an offer because you're wondering if, oh my gosh, what am I going to do if, I, if they offer me something and then they leave me? Y'all are going to have to combat the spirit of fear and rejection together. And the way you can be open to this masculine coming in to help you with mending and embrace this new life is you finally accepting that this person in the past who left you, rejected you, this narcissist who discarded you, they were in your life to teach you a lesson, but you you no longer need to allow them to have control over your, your feelings or your emotions. They left you. It's okay. Life goes on. It's okay. They weren't meant to say. It's really okay. Stop allowing this situation to block you from taking the leap of faith into things that are for you. This emperor is bringing you your justice from someone who broke your heart and pushed you into mastering yourself and going through endings and a rebirth. But someone is still in the background 
they're working hard to try and cause like endings and confusion for you, but it only works if you allow it to. You will have to lower your frequency enough for the things that they are doing against you to actually work. When you become so, so happy, happiness is, is a superpower. When you really become happy and joyous, people can do all kinds of stuff to you. It's not, it's not going to hardly affect you. Some of you, you have children with this person. Every time you see them, every time they call the kids, every time you talk about them, think about them, you're giving them more power because your hatred for what they did to you or your children, it runs so deep. And I'm not, I'm not sitting here trying to minimize anybody's pain, but I'm just saying, it, eventually, we all just got to let it go. Don't let this pain block your actual counterpart. They're your helpmate. They're your karmic justice. Because through this person, you're a twin flame. Through them, you're healing yourself. Y'all are, are one. When you look at them and say, okay, I'm, I'm going to accept you into my life, you're saying, I'm no longer afraid of, of rejection. And at the same time, when they feel that they're going to say, okay, I'm no longer afraid of making an offer. Something It's something here has to change in your energy, though. This is very spiritual. Like, hmm, I like it. Twin Flames. Twin Flame Collective. I have a Twin Flame Oracle. Let's see what rise above and healing. Yeah. There's been drama and obstacles, but you're going to have to find the strength to rise above this. Take time out. Be gentle with yourself and with your twin. Y'all just need a little healing. Oh, the babies. <laughs> Y'all just need a little healing. Y'all are afraid of this rejection. Y'all are cute. Two little sweet hearts out here. Stuck. Look at that. Stuck in inner child. I'll never lie. Stuck. You're blocked. You have an energetic blockage here that's coming from rejection. It's been there since a child. As you heal this rejection wound from by healing your inner child, by being happy, playful. Some of you, that's why this connection for some, this twin flame, is rooted in friendship. Remember that Carson, it's, it's to help you learn how to, you know, just be free, cool, calm, easy. Your love is blossoming. Your answers arrive in the spring. This is spring. Winter, by winter, something could, um, this person, they'll be home by winter. So some of you right now, your love is blossoming now. By the winter, you and this person, you should be feeling at home with each other. Sugar plums. Oh, sugar plums. Look at this. Twin flames. Separation. <laughs> Focus on your own happiness right now in this separation. And some of you separation, you know, you could be talking to this person every day, all day. Some people have a, a 5D separation. Some people have a 3D or, you know, it just depends. But you or this person need to, I don't feel, for some of you, yeah, it's a separation. But regard, the reason for a separation here is for you to overcome this energetic blockage, this barrier that is around rejection so that you can heal the inner child and allow the love to, to bloom and blossom. Both of you, you and whoever this person are, you have a, um, you're wearing a mask. The truth is you really want love, but you're, you're actually sort of afraid of it because love has hurt you. Or what you thought was love hurt you. Love shouldn't hurt. So somebody here has been wearing a mask, maybe like 
They're not super in love, but they are. <laughs> Balance your yin and yang energy. This is you balancing your darkness and light. But say yes to ascending so that you can surrender. The destruction card is here and divine timing. So this spirit of rejection is being eclipsed out. There's a tower moment. So there's some kind of changes, but these changes bring about new opportunities. You just need to have patience and trust in divine time. There's a lot of potential in this situation. This fall and winter is going to be good. Right now, something is blossoming. So you could be really focusing right now on healing, you and your person both. And I think it's very beautiful for those of you, if you know, you, you and your twin, you're in actual communication, like there is a friendship. So you kind of know what's going on. I feel like people who are in true twin flame, like I know some people do separate and stuff, but huge kudos to the people that are, you know, adults and can be responsible and can say, I need to heal and they don't want to, you know, drag you through the through the mud while they while they heal. Um you don't have to go through a dark night of the soul with a person, but I mean you don't ever have to leave your person either.